So today we're gonna make elephant ears. It's a pastry. So you're gonna need two cups of all-purpose flour. You're gonna pour it into your bowl, just like this. Then you're gonna need one teaspoon of sugar. You're gonna need um, two third cups of warm milk. You're gonna pour it inside there. And then you're gonna need two teaspoons of melted butter. So now we're gonna combine everything together and make a, a dough ball. So you make sure everything's combined together. If you want, you can go ahead and just use your hands and combine everything together, just like so. So now we made our round dough ball. We're gonna go ahead and take it out of the bowl. And we're gonna go ahead and put it on here on our chopping board. Now that we have it on our chopping board, we're gonna go ahead and use our pastry cutter. And we're gonna cut it into four equal parts, just like so. And then cut it out once again. Just like so. Go ahead and sprinkle a little flour on your board, just like so. So we got our piece of dough. We're gonna go ahead and roll it out so it's flat. It's gonna be thin and crispy. Make sure you roll it out real thin. I rolled it out real thin. It's like paper thin, if y'all can see. It's real thin. That's why they call it an elephant ear. It looks just like an elephant's ear. <laughs> so now we're gonna put some oil into our frying pan. And then we're gonna fry these until they're crispy. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it in there so it can start cooking. Now it's starting to bubble up. You know, let this turn to a golden brown on one side, and then we're gonna flip it over. One side is brown, and we turned it on the other side. They're golden brown, so we're gonna make some glaze to go on them. So let's finish frying our elephant ears. In a cup, add uh, one fourth cup of milk, two tablespoons of margarine. Put it in the microwave for probably about 15 minutes, just so, not 15 minutes, oh my God. 15 seconds just to warm the milk up and the butter. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in four tablespoons of the powdered sugar. And we're gonna go ahead and give it a stir. Get in your part of sugar. So now, once you got your stuff together here, your, your um, <sighs> vanilla, your um, meh, your ice and stuff, just drizzle it on top, just like so. And they're nice and crunchy, you guys. These are called elephant. This is a glaze. My bad, y'all. Drop your glaze on there. Now you gotta do. There you have it. And just fry them on up. I'm still frying because that's how some left. But there you have it, you guys. Elephant ears, homemade elephant ears.